Before we start the video, I just want to see a quick disclaimer that this video you're watching now is inspired by this video and this video. So if you haven't watched them, go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Remember Minecraft theme parks? The good old days when everybody and their pets would build a roller coaster or a bouncy castle or around the world as soon as they launch a new Minecraft world. So in this video, I'll be using this book right here as a guide to build a Minecraft theme park the way Minecraft or Mojang thinks is best. And right off the bat, we meet with Spark over here, our redstone engineer who is giving us some tips to help us so he said the first tip is you want to build everything in creative mode just trust me well that's a little bit obvious but the second tip he gives is actually really good because he has given us an idea or a place for us to build our minecraft theme park and he said we should track down a woodland mansion in a darko forest and start our theme park from there so let's jump into minecraft and see where we can start building so this is the area i found i found a woodland mansion with a little bit of space for us to build everything else i think this is gonna be more than enough i'll be cleaning up some of these uh, trees if we are not enough but i think this is enough to build our full theme park so let us begin with the first build if we just come down here we are gonna kick off our theme park with the first building as a bouncy castle we have a tip right here given to us and it says it wants the uh, park rights to be close together and kind of overlapping so we're gonna keep that in mind for future builds the interior and floor is gonna be pretty simple with slime and a few slabs the exterior is the main part we're gonna be building the castle i'm gonna try to build it like this from the picture right here colorful four towers a little mini castle and if we come down here there are more designs that the book gave you you can use a creeper head or a bouncy mansion but i'm going to be going with the design from the picture a little bit harder and i do like that design so let's jump into minecraft and see what i can come up with Moving on, we have this merry-go-round design right here that, that are using like minecarts and horses and they have given us some pointers to use a cone-like shape for the roof, some support fences, a central pillar, some tracks and just basic stuff and uh, the design I want to use is down here, the llama one the llama one i really like this design it's really compact so it's fitting our theme perfectly and i think the llama is just fantastic so we're going to be building that one and you can use the other one on the side but i'm going to be going with this kind of design to keep it nice and simple so let's go into minecraft try to build this and replicate it hopefully So right here, I'm going to work on a little bit on the road. I know the environment is looking ugly. It is pretty ugly right now because we are not, we haven't done anything yet. We haven't done anything yet. I'm going to be adding some roads here just to give me some sort of direction. And I know where every building is going. And we are using the mansion for the haunted house. So I'm going to be clearing the walls for the mansion so that we can see inside the haunted house. I'm going to come back to this. I'm just telling you guys that because I decided to clear the wall so that it just looks a little bit nicer. But that's what we did. Sorry, I had to change the weather a thousand times here and also the time of day because it was literally getting dark and raining like 24 7 okay i was so annoyed the weather it's it's raining again oh my god dude let's take a look at our progress here we have built the bouncy castle that was the first building also this merry-go-round i have cleared all the walls for the mansion that is gonna look sick by the way i have also outlined a bunch of more buildings that are gonna come that one looks super awkward i know but i want to give this building a few a little test all right i want to let's try this building so how fun are these so this is gonna be the bouncy castle the way that mojang sees a bouncy castle so let me just hop on let's see it, it should be fun right it should be fun and wow that is underwhelming that is really boring okay what if we jump from here that could be more fun yeah that is what i'm talking about that is what i'm talking about the these yeah these are boring i wouldn't recommend it man i love this thing this thing looks so cute and compact i'm gonna give this a ride we have a llama here i couldn't put a carpet on him all right can i ride him can i not ride him oh here we go here we go come on come on 
and there we go that is our little merry-go-round that we've built and he's dropped me off and we have some roads here that we're gonna decorate don't worry we are gonna add more like decorations here my plan with this is i want to have the gate here and i want to have literally the whole theme park in just this area i want to have it compact and maybe add walls to the side to kind of blocked off and have just this area like the you know just the whole theme park i don't want to expand into that area if i don't have to but we will see what happens so now let's work on some of the water buildings so as you can see the next few buildings are all gonna be water rides like a bunch of slides so we have the epic water slide we have the jungle river rapids we have the bow water slide so those are the things that i'm gonna get building all of them i'm gonna build them i have planned them out as you can see from my back i'm gonna build them because you know i'm just gonna knock all of them out of the park because i'm a pro builder obviously and we will see what they look like in the time lapse now this is gonna be really cool all right this is gonna add a lot of depth into our minecraft just like this theme park because it's all about the water slide Wait, 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 wait. Before we continue with time lapse, this is gonna piss a lot of people off. This thing is really coming along. I really like how this theme park is looking. I have managed to squeeze in all the rides so far into this area and I'm gonna continue to do so. I think everything will fit so that everything is nice and compact and kind of even overlapping just like we had from the tip. I have built this water slide that kind of you know curves around and you can ride until all the way over there. That is pretty pretty fun. We have this huge bowl water bowl thing and I think this is probably one of my favorites in here. You can just slide down here. It's gonna take you down here here and then you're gonna drop off right here that's pretty fun into this little pool and then you can grab a snack or something over here and that is pretty pretty fun and we got this one that i built that is another water slide that is enough of water slides don't worry we're not gonna have any more water slides that is crazy amount this one you just take a boat from here and then you can just ride and then kind of see nature you know kind of see some polar bears some pandas i think that's pretty pretty cool just ride around and have some fun have some fun so that is a cool little ride that i liked and you can put back your boat in here that is fantastic fantastic so we have done a lot of the water things and i think we are good all right we are good in that department now what i want to work on is the huge project all right i want to work on this mansion the haunted mansion and also this you're probably wondering what this thing is now this is gonna be our ride that is gonna be like a little railway ride and that's gonna literally loop around the whole thing and it's gonna have different dimensions and stuff so that's gonna be really really cool i'm gonna start working on that and this and that is gonna be most of our rides in this little theme park done and then we will clean up all this area i know this looks very really quite empty so we're gonna add some I mean, a few mini rides and stalls and stuff to you know make this area a little bit more nicer but now i'm gonna work on these two so enjoy
Now to wrap up this theme park, I want to work on a little bit on the extra decoration starting with the entrance because we obviously need an entrance and of course the ferris wheel, you cannot have a theme park without a ferris wheel so I'm gonna build those two things along with the walls and just finish up the whole build and we'll see once we're done. So let's check out Mojang's way of building a theme park. This is done. I think it turned out really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite proud of myself for doing this. So let's start off with the entrance that we've just built. I think this is really, really cool. I think it just fits the theme perfectly. I added this wall design that was from the book. Uh, it wasn't fully shown in the book, but it showed part of it. So I just got, went along with that theme. If we just come in here, I have fixed up everything. So I have made everything look nice. I've had stalls everywhere to make it look really really nice different colors make it pop i just added a bunch of chests some pools and yeah the rides are looking really really cool and we have this ferris wheel right here it is looking fantastic can you ride the ferris wheel what of course you can ride the ferris wheel yeah of course what do you, what do you think you think i just built something that you can ride and of course obviously you cannot ride the ferris wheel guys the book said it itself you cannot you, there's no way okay you can't do a working ferris wheel on minecraft but i think the design is really really cool and it just makes the you know the whole theme park feel much more natural and i i just really like it okay i just really like it and also this is a huge ride that's a little you know you can ride it from here you can go through all the biomes and stuff we're gonna give it a try we have also the haunted house that is looking fantastic with the little graveyard area and stuff so yeah this build has turned out amazing and most Mojang has really did, you know, they really did a good job, right? They really did a good job. This does feel like a complete theme park and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Of course, we have to give this a go. So let's just give this one a go. I want to see if this ride is quite fun. And here we go. It's slowing down and we have this ride right here. It is quite fun. You go through all the dimensions and it's just a little ride that you can go through, you know, this little end portal. You're going to go through the nether. And yeah, I think this build has turned out really well. This is probably one of the coolest things. And I love the fact that it's overlapping with everything. That is one of my favorite features. And we're going to have a fall right here. You have a little fall and a little bit of a bigger fall. And we're going we're gonna to continue. All right, where is this going? We're going to drop into the water. Here we go. There we go. That that was good. That was fun. All right, that ride was fun. That's one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. Let me know what is your favorite ride down in the comments. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This was definitely a huge project. And I think Mojang came up with a very, very good way of building a theme park. Of course, you can build it any way you like. There isn't really limitations in the game. But this is definitely a good standard for you to use. But that's going to be it from me. I've been working on this video for so long. And yeah. I think I'm gonna take a day off. I forgot to mention the download link of this world is gonna be down in the description of the video. So if you would like to check this out for yourself, check the world out, ride some of the few rides, I would recommend you play it in creative, but you do you. But anyways, if you want to do 